Hello everyone, welcome to this tutorial series where we'll demonstrate how to access a wide range of real-time and historical stock market data using Polygon.io's APIs and the Python programming language. Polygon.io is a financial data platform that provides both real-time and historical market data for stocks, options, forex, and crypto. There are many API endpoints which offer quick and easy access to all types of market data. The really neat thing about all this is that you can programmatically access it using your favorite programming language. We also have great documentation for both the REST API along with streaming data via WebSocket. There are also pre-built client libraries, but today we'll be focusing on Python. Let's look at the documentation for a moment. So to access the APIs, you'll need to authenticate with an API key. But first, over on the left-hand side here, you can see all sorts of market data, reference data, and streaming data. To access these APIs using Python, we have the official client library. If you scroll down here, you can see that it requires Python version 3.8 or higher. To install the client, you just use this pip command. Then here's what an example script might look like. First, you'll import the REST client. You'll authenticate with your API key. Then you'll call whatever functions you're interested in. For example, maybe you want daily aggregate bars, or maybe the last trade, or maybe the raw trades. Same thing for quotes, the last quote, or all quotes. So let's hop over to the command line and actually get this working. First, let's verify we have the correct Python version. Next, let's pip install the Python API client. That's it for the setup side of things. I've cloned the Python client repo here since there's a bunch of examples in it. I recommend you check them out too since they're a great starting point. If you go into the examples rest directory, you'll see them. I'll open up this stock aggregates bar example and we'll walk through it. First thing you'll see here is that we're importing our client. Next, we need to authenticate. You can do that by hard coding your API key, but I think it's better to use an environment variable. You can see commands up here for how to set an environment variable on both Windows and Unix environments. I'm going to copy this for later. Then down here, we're using the client to get some aggregates for Apple, one per day, and you can see we set a date range here. We ask for daily aggregates here, but you could easily ask for hours or minute aggregates too. Okay, let's go back to the command line and we'll set up that environment variable using the API key. To get that API key, we'll go back to the Polygon website and we'll sign up. I'll show you the pricing page here, but you could also click the get free API key. There's a variety of different options depending on what your needs are. There's also enterprise plans for commercial use. So let's click sign up here for the free plan. I'll just enter a test email and a password. Then pretty much instantly we're given a new account. If we scroll down here, you'll see the API key that we need to copy. I'll just copy it here and I'll head back to the command line. Then I'll paste it in here and I'll hit enter. All right, so at this point, we should have everything set up. We have Python installed. We've downloaded the Python Polygon client. We have a new API key and we have some demo scripts. So let's run that aggregate bars example that we were looking at earlier. And just like that, we have some stock market data. Granted, this is a super simple example, but it proves our end-to-end -end working setup. So thanks for watching this first episode, and we'll dive deeper into stock market data in the next episode. See you there.